Okay, so here are the arms sewed, sewed on. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and do the, the legs. So the legs look like this. Okay, you're going to go ahead and gather those nine stitches. So for the legs, I usually give two options. Um, one being like this which you gather and you go ahead and you attach it to the side and then the other being the last 12 and instead of doing the the gathering you're just going ahead um, you're going to go ahead and uh, single crochet six across the top so they're flat so they would just look like this like a flat leg at the top and then all you do is attach it to the bottom of the body so they would go here at the bottom and then when he sits be like this okay for these ones I'm gonna go ahead and attach them to the side so first you want to go ahead and gather those last stitches I think it's nine last nine It does take a lot of patience to put together a toy. Um, you know, I like to do it while I'm listening to music or watching something on the TV. Just makes it go by a lot quicker, to be honest, because it can be a little tedious. And if you try to go fast, um, it doesn't end up looking the best, you know? Okay, so you just go ahead and hide the tail. You're going to snip that off. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so once you have both your legs already done, you're going to go ahead and grab a sc long scrap of uh, whatever yarn the the body and the feet are. I would go with whatever color the feet are because I know sometimes they have different colors in the body um, depending on the dog you're working on. Go ahead and cut about, I don't know, like 8 to 12 inches. Doesn't even matter. I mean, I would rather go long than short just because you might need more. I'd rather have extra and just cut that off than need more. Okay. Go ahead and thread your needle. All right, so for the way I do the second attachment so that the legs can be movable, I do it the same for every single dog. So you're gonna go ahead and count 10 rows from the center of the body and up, right? So it's gonna be two, four, six, eight, and 10. So this would be number 10. Then I will go ahead and put a pin in that. And then you're going to put a pin on the row above it, so 10 and 11. And you're going to want it to be pretty centered down with the, the arm. So the leg will be like this. Okay. Go ahead and do the same on the other side. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then you're going to go ahead and add a pin there and a pin on the 11th row. Okay, so they should be pretty even. I'm going to make sure that they are. Oops, let's see. See, these are not. So go ahead and move it. It doesn't have to be exact. Since this is a crocheted item, or um, and it is crocheted, I mean, and like in a spiral, so sometimes you do get an off round. Let's see, that's about right. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and lay them down. 
you're going to grab your threaded needle and you're going to go ahead and insert it down the center of where the tail is going to be on the 10th round. Go ahead and come out on the 10th um, round on either side. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Then you're going to go ahead and grab your leg. Insert your needle through the back towards the front of the leg. Go back into the leg like that. Then you're going to go into the 11th round, which is the one right above it. You can remove the needles. Okay, and then you're going to come out through the 10th round on the other side of the body where the other leg will be. Then you're going to go ahead and do the same to the other side, but through the opposite side, okay? So, this, go to the top, then you're going to go in through the 11th round, take those pins out. You're gonna go back out through where you first went in. So like this. Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and pull those two strings together. Pull them pretty tight. Not too tight because then you won't indent the body. But you want them to be as tight as possible without indenting it. So they can stay on. You could use doll joints. I have used some for like the bigger sizes. So I say if you're using like a worsted weight yarn, I use like 15 millimeter doll joints. But for this like smaller size, those joints are too big, and I haven't been able to find any smaller ones. Okay, then you just go ahead and hide the tail. I get like a little indent, so all you have to really do is pop it out. Cut your extra. Okay. And you have movable legs, see? Okay. And then he can sit on his own. Okay, go ahead and flip him upside down. You're gonna go ahead and attach his tail and his little tail. Uh, for the placement of the tail, it really depends on the dog. Your pattern will tell you um, where to place it. You can really just eyeball it and see where you think it looks the best. What I like to do is sit him up. Once they're sitting, I like to put it right at the edge, so it looks like it's naturally attached there, see? So that means this one would have his tail here on rounds 2, 4, between 6 and 12. Okay, let me go ahead and attach that. Okay, once it's pinned in place, you're just going to go ahead and sew it on the same way you've been sewing on the body. You sew it on the arms.
Okay, just go ahead and sew all the way around. Okay, that's his tail sewn on. And then for the ears, for the ears, okay. So for the ears, his ears are crocheted flat at the top. So you're going to go ahead and grab him, flip him over, I would say, let's see, they're going to go like, fold it like this, and then you're going to go ahead and push, kind of like tack that on like that, and then they're going to go like this on his head. I mean, you could leave them down. It's really up to you. 